Being immortal is the dream of many human beings and the subject of countless books and movies, an idea that may initially seem intriguing but would become a torment over the years. What would it be like to be immortal? With each passing year, we age, undergoing subtle changes in our bodies that we may not notice at first but accumulate over time. We know that with each day, we have one less day left. Long days but short years, we procrastinate leaving everything for tomorrow until we realize it's too late or we lack the time to fulfill our dreams, desires, or needs. There's a feeling that immortality could be the solution, but whenever we entertain this idea, we limit ourselves to a few hundred years, either in the past or the future. But what if we think in terms of millennia or true eternal life? How and where would your life be a million years from now or more? This is the intriguing exercise we will undertake in this video. Let's explore the implications and difficulties that eternal life would bring. Get ready for the next few minutes of reflection and imagination. So let's begin by acknowledging that in the next 100 years, we can expect exponential advances in technology. This could include the possibility of transferring consciousness to artificial bodies further extending life and posing ethical and philosophical challenges. But for now, let's focus on life as we know it. As an immortal being, you would witness your friend's agent pass away, facing the pain of loss repeatedly. This could lead to a sense of isolation and difficulty in forming deep connections. Seeking solace in relationships with other immortals to avoid constant loss might be an option. However, you would be aware that finding individuals with the same condition could be a challenge or impossibility, resulting in a pervasive sense of loneliness. On the other hand, there would be the opportunity to learn and accumulate knowledge in various fields over the centuries. However, this could also lead to boredom and a feeling of having exhausted all possibilities for learning. With the accelerated advancement of technology and society, the immortal individual would need to constantly adapt to keep up with changes. This could be challenging, especially if there's a disconnect between the immortal mindset and the evolution of humanity. The prospect of living through and witnessing significant historical events over the centuries could bring a unique perspective but could also be an emotional burden, especially when repeatedly witnessing tragedies and conflicts. With the world around constantly evolving and changing, there would be significant challenges in adapting to new circumstances, technologies, and cultures over time. After 150 years, you may find yourself deeply integrated into cutting-edge technologies, benefiting from medical advances, neural interfaces, and potentially participating in increasingly digitally connected societies. The expectation would be that technology has reached extraordinary levels enabling significant progress in the medical field and life extension. Integration with cutting-edge technologies could involve the transfer of consciousness to artificial bodies, providing not only extended longevity but also the opportunity to enhance cognitive and physical abilities. This integration may pose ethical and social challenges, such as issues of privacy, the impact on individual identity, and adapting to a constantly evolving society. After 500 years, you may find yourself immersed in a futuristic landscape full of post-human transformations and unique challenges. During this period, human societies would have undergone radical metamorphoses driven by advancements in biotechnology, artificial intelligence, and human-machine integration. Integration with these post-human societies would be inevitable. The immortal individual witnessing the fusion of biological and technological components, might encounter identity dilemmas, questioning what it means to be human amid cybernetic enhancements and genetic modifications. The pursuit of maintaining one's identity in a constantly evolving world would become an intricate journey. Cultural disconnection would be a tangible reality. With social changes occurring on an incomprehensible scale, the immortal person might feel isolated unable to fully relate to the values and nuances of a society that has evolved beyond the understanding of someone who lived centuries before. After a millennium, immortality would become an intrinsic feature of your identity, 
shaping your perception of time, society, and existence itself. One of the primary changes would be the continuous adaptation to environmental transformations on Earth. Climate, geography, and ecology would have undergone significant alterations, and over a thousand years, you would have faced constant challenges to adjust to a constantly evolving world. Your influence in shaping sustainable responses and solutions to environmental challenges could be crucial. The interaction with human societies, now so distant from their origins, would be a fascinating aspect. You would have witnessed countless cultural, political, and technological revolutions. You might have actively participated in these transformations or chosen a more observational stance accumulating a unique perspective on the trajectory of humanity. However, psychological challenges could arise after a thousand years of existence. Boredom and the feeling of having exhausted all possible experiences and learnings would be persistent threats. Seeking ongoing meaning in such a prolonged existence would require profound reflection on the nature of life and purpose. And before we proceed, I need to ask for your like. This is a very new channel. We hardly have any subscribers, so we really need your like and subscription. Only then can we reach a level that allows us to continue and improve the quality of the videos, okay? Feel free to comment as well. So, please, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Well, getting back to it. After 100,000 years, you would have traversed geological eras and witnessed cosmic transformations of immense magnitude. In this vast period, Earth would have undergone profound climate changes, significant tectonic movements, and perhaps even extinction and rebirth events. Immortality would enable the individual to accumulate an extraordinary wealth of experience and knowledge, becoming a sort of guardian of Earth's history. They would have been a witness to the different eras of humanity, from its origins to the development of advanced societies. Space exploration could have reached unimaginable levels. The immortal person could have participated in intergalactic expeditions, visited other solar systems, and even interacted with alien life forms. The experience over so many millennia would provide a unique perspective on the diversity of the cosmos. The very concept of identity could have evolved in fascinating ways. Over tens of thousands of years, the immortal individual might have experienced modifications in their own biology or chosen forms of existence that transcend conventional human limitations. The relationship with time would also become a fundamental characteristic. The perception of seconds, minutes, and days would be eclipsed by a more fluid and non-linear understanding of time allowing for a unique appreciation of historical and cosmic events. However, despite all of the enriching experiences, the central challenge would be to find meaning and purpose in such a vast existence. Imagining the life of an immortal person after a million years takes us to scenarios so distant and speculative that they surpass our current understanding of reality. After this monumental timescale, their existence would be intricately woven into cosmic events, fundamental transformations, and the evolution of all existence in the universe. In this vast period, Earth would have gone through multiple ice ages, drastic climate changes, and significant geological events. The very face of the planet could have transformed in unimaginable ways, with continents emerging and disappearing, and new forms of life arising and extinguishing in endless cycles. Intergalactic exploration and interaction with alien civilizations may have become an intrinsic part of their life. They might have actively participated in building bridges between different cosmic societies, sharing knowledge and experiences that transcend the boundaries of a single civilization. The concept of identity would have evolved beyond current understanding. They may have experienced forms of existence challenging conventional notions of body and mind. Modifications to their biology, integration with advanced artificial intelligences, or even transitioning to interdimensional states of consciousness could be considered. Far beyond, if the universe eventually collapses into a big crunch, you would witness the reversal of the cosmic expansion process. In this context, immortality would take on a new dimension, 
as you would be able to survive extreme conditions and the reconfiguration of space-time itself. During the collapse, you could explore the fundamental changes in the universe's structure, confronting intense cosmic phenomena. Time and space might lose their conventional characteristics, challenging the perception of reality. Immortality would enable a unique journey through the singularity of the collapse, exploring dimensions beyond human understanding. In the scenario of heat death, where the universe expands indefinitely until it becomes cold and devoid of energy, you would face an increasingly desolate environment. At this stage, stars would fade, galaxies would drift apart, and matter would gradually disperse. Immortality could be a blessing or a curse in this context, leaving you to witness the universe slowly fading into darkness and silence. Loneliness and contemplation of the ephemerality of existence would be inevitable. A more metaphorical conception might suggest transcending the collapse or heat death, existing beyond the limits of the known universe. In a state beyond conventional time and space, immortality would manifest as an eternal and timeless condition. This existence beyond the universe could involve interaction with alternative realities, unknown dimensions, or even coexistence with other forms of life or cosmic consciousness. You could become a witness to new cosmos forming or unknown cosmic processes. Even in the end of times, it would be delving into a mystical and metaphorical scenario where cosmic and existential concepts intertwine in a unique way. This imaginary point marks not only the end of the life of an immortal entity but rather a symbolic fusion with the last breaths of the known universe. In a scenario of the end of times, you might face transcendent choices. One option would be the conscious decision to conclude your own existence, as a final act of free will. This act would not be driven by physical or biological limitations but rather by a profound understanding of the cycle of life and an intrinsic connection with the cosmos. Transcendence could also be an intriguing possibility. Instead of an abrupt end, you might choose to uniquely integrate with the final cosmic events. This could involve a merging of consciousness with the primordial energies of the universe or a journey beyond the known dimensions. But just this last part alone would be material enough for years of study and an unimaginably larger video than this. As we explore the various imaginary phases of an immortal person's life, from 150 years to beyond the collapse of the universe, we delve into hypothetical scenarios that challenge our understanding of existence. Immortality, in its various manifestations over millennia, unveils emotional complexities, ethical challenges, and a constant quest for meaning. Confronting cosmic changes, the immortal person transcends physical and philosophical boundaries, providing a unique perspective on time, space, and evolution. Ultimately, this speculative journey offers profound reflection on the possibilities and limitations of immortality, exploring not only the nature of existence but also the singular role of an eternal consciousness in the face of cosmic infinity. I hope you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and share. Don't forget to comment on how you envision an endless life. What problems and solutions were not addressed in the video? And to conclude, would you like to receive the gift of eternal life? Until the next video.